What's up guys, Shane your figure 3D printing and today we're checking out the August MakerBox. Welcome back guys. So we're at my favorite video of the month, the MakerBox videos that I'm doing. And again, these are a great way, if you've never seen any of my videos before, this is a great way to learn about new filaments for a pretty good price, about 20 bucks for a box every month. And it's just, again, it, you get, don't know what's coming. It could be PLAs, could be flexibles, could be ABS, could be exotics, lots of different things come in these. They are super fun for me to print and I'm glad I get to do it here on YouTube for you guys. So let's dive in this one and see what came. Technical difficulties, but we're gonna get through it. Okay, we're in the box now. So, Ge Gecko Tech, group buy with massive savings. So in this month, there is a very special surprise, and I knew about it ahead of time. It is a very small sheet of Gecko Tech Easy Stick Hot. I have a sheet of this. It's amazing stuff. I bought it from them. I was actually a Kickstarter for them when they first were a backer, I guess. I was a backer to their Kickstarter campaign uh, months and months and months ago, and I used it for quite a long time, and it's still with my FT5 once that finally gets to me. It's with that. So this gives you a little bit of sheet. You can kind of just stick this here in the middle of your build plate and kind of test out printing with it. See how it works out. And this might, you I mean, it's a little bit too small, but it almost <laughs> fits on the modern price like mini because a little bit bigger, this would have fit. Come on guys, just give me an extra inch around. That would have fit, but that's okay. So there's a group buy. It's a 30% discount this month. If you're a MakerBox member and you use the discount code they give you here, 30% off. So I picked up one. Uh, I knew about this ahead of time and I'm a little late on the video. So I went ahead to open this up, grabbed the coupon code out and ordered another big 300 by 300 sheet that I can use on all my big large format printers. So awesome stuff from them. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, information here, easy stick hot. Uh, they give you an information card, which you get when you order from them, you get one of these, but they give you one in here just so you're aware of things. Uh, there is a Sticker for some company. I don't know who yet, but a sticker. Uh, 3D Fuel, you get 15% off here for I guess they're gonna have some filament in here. So that's a nice thing. And then they've got some uh, things in here from M3D on their quad fusion head. Uh, it goes on their crane, which I will be getting here uh, in the future. I'm gonna be getting their single extruder one first. Hopefully the dual and quad I will also get to test out but I do know that one should be coming as soon as they're ready to ship. But they give you some information about that in here as well. Ooh, and then we have a cherry airhead. That's why I buy the box, guys. You get the candy. All right, let's see what filaments we have this month. So up first, we have 230 nylon from Talman. And nylon comes in, well, I guess all the nylons I've ever tested come in like the natural milky whitish uh, color. So 230 nylon, this is a really crappy sticker. What happened here, guys? I don't know. Anyways, print settings, 228 to 235. There's a very, very precise temperature range right there. Bed temperature, room temp, interesting. Speed not listed, fan, no fan on this. So it says other, the print on glue stick or enclosed Gecko Tech sample. Very cool, I understand that now. All right, a nylon blend that prints at low temperature. This nylon does not require a heated bed or an all metal hot end. We include a special sample of Gecko Tech Easy Stick Hot this month. You can tape it to your build plate for an easy nylon adhesion. So you don't even have to stick that down. You can just tape it down and go with that. So very cool. It'll be interesting to test out. Okay, here we have marble colored PLA from Printed Solid. So this is Printed Solid's uh, PLA here. It's a gray with uh, some darker gray or black specks in there. So that's uh, probably pretty cool looking, I think. All right, so the hot end temperature is 190, 210, it's PLA. Bed, zero to 60 C. Speed, 20 to 80 millimeters a second. Fan, yes, because it's PLA. And other, no special considerations. So print unique looking objects with this marble colored PLA. It's white PLA with black PLA flex mixed in. Oh, very interesting. It looks more, I thought it was gray filament. I guess there's a lot more black specks in there than I was expecting. Uh, a bit more suitable than other marble PLAs. A little bit more, yeah, subtle than other marble PLAs on the market. No actual marble is in this filament. This filament is made and printed solid and does not carry any manufacturer's brand. This is their in-house filament. I'm super excited to try this out. So, and this does seem, is this the larger roll? Nope, nope, that's the larger roll down there. So, what's next? Uh, here's the one from 3D Fuel. And this is Entwined V2 Hemp PLA. And it's in 
a, like a brown color. I think I've tested this before. I can't remember though. Maybe this, maybe I haven't though. Let's see, the hot end temperature 180 to 210, so it's a low temp, kind of like a wood filament, PLA temperatures. Bed temp is uh, room temperature to 60. No speed listed, use a fan, it is PLA. And other is may wear brass nozzles, hardened steel is advised. So I'll have to put this on the CR-10S because that has the micro Swiss nozzle on it. And there is a whole chunk of data in here that I'm not going to read through. So yeah, this should be interesting to test out. All right, and here we have the bonus sample in this purple. And this is just PLA from Rhino 3D. So a little fun fact, if you don't know, the guys that used to own MakerBox sold it to Printed Solid to continue it. The company had grown so much, they couldn't really do anymore, and they wanted to move on to other things. They started Rhino Reel, and Rhino Reel runs off of the whole new Master Spool um, fad that's going on right now, and where there's no spool, you get a 750 grand spoolless spool of filament, bundle of filament, I guess. Uh, you print your own uh, spool for it, you put it on there, snip off the three zip ties, and you're off to the races. So this is by them. Uh, the temperature on this is 190 to 210 bed, room temperature to 60, no speed listed, use a fan because it's PLA, and enjoy a 50% extra in your bonus this month courtesy of Rhino Reel. Rhino Reel new filament service started by the co-founders of MakerBox, as I just stated, focuses on providing full spools of filament without a spool. This is part of the hashtag master spool movement. Users uh, will print their own spool that they can use, reuse with refills. So I am on the fence about that. I don't know how it's gonna be. We'll give it a little bit longer to see how many more companies jump onto it. But either way, we got a lot of extra in this. It's a very vibrant purple. So there it is. Let's throw these on the printers and see how they turn out. All right, welcome back guys. So that was quick, because I didn't have any time lapses yet. Again, hopefully very soon I will be able to set up time lapses and be able to start doing those again. But right now, it's not really an option. I have to say, awesome box all four prints came out absolutely perfectly i used four different machines for all of these just to try them out differently i want to see how they would work out for me uh, i was very surprised about the nylon printed very well it's super duper slippery like it just feels like it would make some really good bearings or something like that it was very very interesting to to kind of print with that again the, but the other ones all came out great we'll take a closer look at those Kind of want to do a little reminder on the spool that I'm using, and I'm using this one. So this one here is called the Sample Master Spool uh, by I forget his name, but I'll make sure that the link is down below if you guys want to download this. It twists together very, very well, I mean, very easily. So there's a little bit of a lip right here, so you can kind of put your sample on there, and then take your back end and then screw it right onto that. It, the little lip really does help keep the filament kind of trained on there so that it's not like flopping all around as you're trying to screw this back together. There are lots and lots of anchor points on this print, which I also really do like, uh, up top for either putting your top bit through, or even in the bottom, hooking the bottom part of your filament through to kind of lock it onto this. It does a great job, plenty of support there in the middle. It's a pretty easy print, prints on a standard 200 by 200 bed, which most like 98% of the printers out there uh, come with at least that size so you can print this out on most anything and I, I really do highly recommend this and you can print this out in any material this just happens to be in the filaments.ca gold uh, pearl PLA I usually use PLA whatever it's it is but I'm gonna do a few more filament reviews here in the future I'll be sure to print this out a few more times just to make life a little bit easier now we've talked about that let's go ahead and take a closer look at the prints all right so up first we're gonna look at the marble colored PLA by printed solid this is their in-house uh, filament and again the marble looks great it's got that gray you know light gray uh, main color with that black fleck kind of just thrown in there it's actually not gray they said it's white but just with all the black fleck in there it looks gray it printed out absolutely amazingly printed very very well over support first layers went down great this was on the uh, GTEC A10 Nothing to complain about whatsoever on this. It did super well over the uh, supports in here. And then the cogs did really, really well also. So again, super duper happy with this one. All right, here we have Entwined V2. This is a hemp PLA by 3D Fuel. And it printed pretty well. But as you can see, there's a bit of stringing going on there. And this also had a few little 
bit of blips on it. Uh, wasn't too terribly happy about that, but this was printed on the CR10S because that has the Micro Swiss all metal hot end on it and a Micro Swiss uh, hardened nozzle so that I can print high temp and I can print abrasive materials, which this is abrasive. Going to the bottom, it did really, really well. I did have a little bit of elephant footing, but look at the difference in the color from the perimeters to infill. Just It just looks very different. And I was very surprised to see that how light colored the, the perimeters are, but how dark the solid infill layer was. It printed great straight on PEI, no glue stick, anything like that. It held very well, but yes, a little bit of string going on. I should have either lowered my temperature or increased my retraction a little bit, but hey, you only get pretty much one go at these. So you gotta try to best guess your, your uh, settings as best you can. And there is some under extrusions going on. So I had one here and one here. It goes through a majority of the print, if not all of it. So that was very uh, disconcerting. I didn't really like that. I could put my finger in there and actually pop this entire bit open, but I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I was not happy with the under extrusion in there. And again, it happened twice, but only twice. Overall, still a decent print. Okay, here's the PLA from Rhino 3D. This is the bonus sample. So this is the extra one. This is 24 meters of filament instead of the standard 16 in this purple. As you can see, amazing print. Absolutely amazing. This is printed on the Anycubic i3 Mega. It came out so nicely. Bottom layers, really good. Over the supports did as good as PLA does, if not better than standard PLA. And then over the cogs, we had really good time keeping up. There were a little bit of deformities right around here, probably around layer 15 to 20. A little bit of problems in there, but again, that's kind of a PLA thing. But overall, just looking here at the top, it looks gorgeous, super clean, no under extrusions anywhere, no over extrusions anywhere, no stringing. Well, there's that one string up in there. But I mean, it, again, Awesome color and very good results. Okay, and here's the 230 nylon from Tallman 3D. This was a, a very interesting filament to print with. I've never printed with it before, but this was also printed on the CR10S uh, just because of, I wanted to make sure that it would print out well. And I didn't, I got the Gecko Tech sheet here that they sent, I didn't end up using it. I just went ahead and used the PEI that's on that printer. I thought that would just do a better job of it. And it did. So underneath, it's good. Good first layers on there. Over the supports, it did well. Supports came off. <laughs> the supports came off fairly easily. I did have to use a pair of needle nose just because this uh, this is actually a pretty soft and flexible filament. You can see it actually flexes quite a bit. And trying to get the support off under there was a little bit gummy. So uh, a pair of flush cutters and needle nose that got that off pretty easily. It's just I can't get my fingers down in there to pull out the little bits. A little bit of stringing going on in there, not a whole lot. But as you can see, the cogs did very, very well. You know, again, first layers were good. I was very happy with how this ended up turning out. I was also very surprised, again, at trusting a new filament, especially a new nylon. It was uh, interesting. And again, this is a low temperature nylon where a lot of other nylons out there are very high temperature, 250 degrees or higher is what they can be. But this was only printed at 230 degrees. Now the little bonus thing they sent in this month was this very small piece of Gecko Tech. It's about 100 by 100 millimeters. It's pretty small, but it is small enough that you could actually kind of just tape it down, do your test print on it, and then be able to take it back off your bed if you didn't want to actually stick it down. Because once you get this down, it'll probably be a little hard to get back up. My Maker Coin just would have just barely fit on there, but I've used Gecko Tech before, and it is an amazing surface. Very similar to PEI, you're gonna get that really nice shiny glass finish to it, uh, kind of like how I did get on this one, and this one's hard to tell because it's clear, but um, either way, you're gonna get that really nice glass finish, and when it cools down, it just kind of needs a little bit of like a nudge, like you take the back of a screwdriver, or they have like a little printing tool, they used to have the tool, um, or just kind of anything, just kind of give it a little, a little nick and it, it pops right off. Like it does not take much force at all. If it does, you print it way too close and you should uh, check that out. But again, this is the Easy Stick Hot, so this is meant to be heated. They also have just Easy Stick, which is meant to be printed cold. And that was equivalent, I mean, it's still kind of like a PEI, but it acts more like a build tech, because build tech works really well without heat also. But yeah, so again, I really do like this. I actually ordered a sheet, so in my so this is August box. In my September box, 
I should be getting a sheet of this. Very excited about that. And I, because my other sheet kind of cracked on the glass that it's on for the FT5. New sheets coming though. We're definitely gonna get some more prints with it. I highly recommend you guys check this stuff out. It's good stuff. And that's it for the August MakerBox guys. So thank you for tuning in. And if you guys wanna try out the MakerBox, head down to the video description. There's gonna be a link and a coupon code. Make sure you use both of those. You get 15% off your first box and you're gonna get a free sample filament because it's your first box. And by you guys signing up for that, every three people ends up giving me a free maker box and I will end up getting an extra sample in my boxes, which will be great. So the more people sign up, the more samples that come. And if I've already printed them before, I'm gonna just kind of stock them away to use them for other things. So when I, my stuff comes here, I'll have a good catalog of what I've used and have not used, but it's gonna be great stuff. Lots of extra filament to do projects with. So again, you guys get a free extra, uh, so a fifth sample, and you get the 15% discount, which is more than you can get anywhere else. You only get 10% off on your first box normally. So thank you for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, and if you think you wanna check it out, please hit that thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys on how I do the MakerBox videos. I do these every month. They're super fun. I enjoy doing it, and I wanna keep doing it. So make sure you guys leave some comments down below. So you guys wanna donate me financially, down below me is a Patreon link. Donate me a dollar more. They get you access to my Patreon feed and my after show, which I record after almost every new video I put out. So please be sure to check that out. My current patrons, you guys are awesome. And thank you for all the new people that have been signing up. It's been truly awesome to have your support behind me. It's great, so thank you guys. If you guys support me on other ways, there's Buy Me Coffee or Streamlabs links down in the video description. Or if you go down even further, there's a whole bunch of foot links and coupon codes. Go ahead, use those for daily shopping or if you're gonna use any of those codes on the websites. A little slice of what you guys buy comes back here to help me out the channel from those various vendors. Thank you guys for using those. And that's it, so thanks for watching guys. Till next time, happy printing.